Now, I have to ask you about one of my very favorite recordings, too, because you did, too, with Bill Evans. Oh, yeah. Can you talk about that record? How sure. did that come about? Well, anybody with good taste, they, they always say that's the best work I've ever done. You know, I it was love with, that. because of Bill Evans, you know, he's a complete genius. And uh, But that the reason that came about was uh, the wonderful a friend of mine, Annie Ross, you know, is a great talent. And she suggested, I'd like to talk to Bill Evans and have him do an album with you. And so the album came about, and it was uh, very wonderful because he said, leave your cronies home. <laughs> he said, just you and I and the, and the engineer, and let's make an album. And, really? And we did two days like that. You know, we did two different albums and uh, a television show once in Canada. And the experience was just so beautiful because uh, he is so highly intelligent, you know. He just really knew how to support exactly where I was at. It was just such a perfect marriage that it had to be so much fun. Was this something that, really you, was. that you spent a lot of time? You said you had two days. Did you rehearse a lot for this? Was it fairly spontaneous? We did. Was it? In fact, I couldn't believe what the public will never hear, but what tune would you like to do, he'd say to me. And I'd say, well, I like this song, you know. And he said, okay. And then he'd start producing an, a concept for, for that particular song. And it went on and on and on. And then he'd say, okay, I'm, I'm ready if you want to do one. But he had it all together so that it became a premise for the whole song. So That's it became, fascinating. Yeah. He would just phrase something so it would lead me into the next section of the song, and it would be perfect. You know, I'd say, oh, my God, this guy, what, what a mind he's got, you know. 